गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स इन द चैप्टर दैट इज होल्थ हैंड एंड डिजीजेस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बैलेंस डाइट अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड दैट विच आर द कंपोनेंट्स दैट आर हेल्पफुल फॉर आवर बॉडी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बैलेंस डाइट एज वी हैव सीन दैट दे आर डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ फूड लाइक कार्बोहाइड्रेट फैट्स विटामिन मिनरल्स प्रोटीन्स एट्सेट्रा and we have discussed each of them earlier now what is balanced diet for this you firstly have to remember the condition that earlier we have said we have said said that the each component of food is very much required for our body that may be for growth of our body for uh, well being of our body so for this balanced diet is simply uh, when we take foods they does not contain all the nutrients in sufficient quantity okay that is if we take a single food then it is it doesn't contain all the nutrients likewise uh, vitamins proteins fats etc so for this it is advised that take a proportion of food in which all the components are there that is you have seen the examples of babies babies child are given milk so uh, milk is having all the nutrients except vitamin c and iron so for this uh, up to 6 month or 1 year they are given milk as a main diet okay so that is uh, good for them but as people grown up for uh, younger childs for adults the proportion changes so for this you have to study about this that is the balanced diet basically defining balanced diet all the components of food cannot be obtained from one food item so for instance if you are taking an example of rice that if we are eating rice it is a great source of carbohydrate okay but if we are taking milk then it also contain the nutrients but it doesn't contain vitamin c so for this it was advised that every day we should take such a food which contain all the nutrients likewise carbohydrates likewise fats proteins vitamins minerals water and roughages okay so if you can see in this chart here is the chart given and the data is that what amount of nutrients are there so if we are taking wheat flour then it contains 75.5% of carbohydrate 10.7% of protein 1.1% of fat and overall it contains 355 calories okay similarly if we see about rice then it contains 78.2% of carbohydrate 7.1% of protein 1.1% of fat and 352 calories so in this manner you can see that there are different food items which have different amount of nutrients in them okay lemon juice it contains 8.0% carbohydrate 0.3% protein and 0.1% of fat overall it contain 25.9 calories okay so students a balanced diet can be defined as diet which provide sufficient calories here you can see all these food items contain this much amount of calories so defining balanced diet it is basically a diet which provides sufficient calories proteins vitamins minerals to maintain health healthy body okay the composition of some common foods is given in the list you can make a chart of this list now students if you will see gradually that uh, a balanced diet for a child about 12 year of age okay so for that kind of child basically the food items are listed here likewise rice wheat pulses green leafy vegetables etc and their quantities are given in here that is cereals may be of 320 g rice will be of 160 g meat and fish will be of 35 g egg one egg etc and approximate amount of cooked food okay this is the ratio that in what amount we require them so this data is given for the child that is of 12 years okay and here is the second data which is given for the energy requirement that changes with age okay and this table is for different age group so for an infant the calories required is 500 calories up to 1 year child the calorie required is 700 calorie for 2 to 3 years child the calorie required is 1400 calorie 
फॉर फाइव टू सेवन ईयर चाइल्ड द कैलरी रिक्वायर्ड इज एटीन हंड्रेड कैलरी एंड द लिस्ट गोज ऑन ओके सो फॉर हार्ड वर्किंग ग्रेड लेबर द कैलरी रिक्वायर्ड इज थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज द मैक्सिमम ओके फॉर हार्ड वर्किंग लेबर्स सो इन दिस मैनर यू हैव सीन दैट द डिफरेंट चार सोइंग दैट हाउ मच कैलरीज आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक आवर बॉडी फिट और फॉर अ हेल्दी बॉडी एंड स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ क्लियर दैट द कम्पोजिशन ऑफ बैलेंस डाइट चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू एज एंड नेचर ऑफ वर्क एज यू हैव सीन अलियर दैट हार्ड वर्किंग लेबर रिक्वायर थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड ऑफ कैलरी वेयर एज एन एडल्ट रिक्वायर ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड ऑफ कैलरी ओके एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट मिल्क एज वी आर सेंग दैट मिल्क कंटेन्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द न्यूट्रियट बिसाइड विटामिन सी सो इट इज़ अ कम्प्लीट लिक्विड फूड विच कंटेन ऑल द कम्पोनेंट्स ओके एंड एज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मिल्क सो वी हैव टू लुक फॉर द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ मदर्स मिल्क मदर्स मिल्क इज़ द बेस्ट फूड फॉर एन इन्फेंट यू ऑल नो वेरी वेल बिकॉज इन्फेंट्स ऑलवेज यूज टू टेक मदर्स मिल्क इट कंटेन्स ऑल द न्यूट्रियट्स दैट मे बी प्रोटीन दैट मे बी कार्बोहाइड्रेट दैट मे बी फैट दैट मे बी वाटर विटामिन मिनरल एट्सेट्रा अ चाइल्ड बिलो सिक्स मंथ डज नॉट नीड एनी एक्स्ट्रा फूड ओके इफ ही शी इज नरिस्ड विद द मदर्स मिल्क सेक्रेशन ऑफ मदर मिल्स स्टार्ट बाई द मेमरी ग्लैंड ओके देर इज़ अ मेमरी ग्लैंड सो फ्रॉम देयर द सेक्रेशन ऑफ मिल्क स्टार्ट ओके एंड द वेरी फर्स्ट मिल्क दैट रिलीज फ्रॉम द मदर्स इज कॉल्ड इज येलोइश इन कलर इट इज स्लिमी एंड विस्कस दिस इज कॉल्ड एज कॉलोस्ट्रम ओके इट इज वेल डाइजेस्टिव इन नेचर इट कंटेन्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंटीबायोटिक सब्सटांस विच इम्पार्ट इम्यूनिटी सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द इम्यूनिटी ऑफ चाइल्ड सो दे गेट द इम्यूनिटी फ्रॉम द मदर्स मिल्क दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कोलेस्ट्रम एन इन्फेंट मस्ट बी फीड विद मदर मिल्क इट हैज़ नो ऑप्शन ओके सो आफ्टर वन ईयर बेबी शुड बी गिवन प्रॉपर डाइट अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स नीड्स डिफरेंट फूड आइटम्स वाई डिफरेंट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ न्यूट्रियट्स हियर इज द लिस्ट गिवन बिलो दीज आर द न्यूट्रियट्स लाइक वाइज कार्बोहाइड्रेट फैट प्रोटीन विटामिन मिनरल्स एट्सेट्रा and this is the substance like uh, spinach it contain 2.9 g uh, carbohydrate 0.7 g fat 2.0 g protein here if talking about banana then it contain 2.5 g of carbohydrate and 1 g of fat and talking about grapes it contain 2 g of carbohydrate 0.3 g of fats 0.5 g of vitamin a so in this manner today we have discussed about the balanced diet and every day we must take such a food which may supply us all the mul- all the components of a balanced diet in adequate quantity so why these are required basically these are required for the survival of human being okay here are the list so defining balanced diet it is basically the diet which provides sufficient calories proteins vitamins and minerals to maintain a healthy body and the composition of some common food items per 100 g of food is given in the list these are the food materials these are the supplements or the nutrients you can say the carbohydrate the protein fat and calories in potato there is 20.1% of carbohydrate 1.4% of protein uh, 0.1% of fat and 86.9 calories it gives 86.9 calories so students in this manner you have seen that a balanced diet for 20 year of age of child is given in this chart and for different age group is listed in this chart okay and what we have to basically remember is that it depends on the work of the person okay so for an adult it will be 2600 calorie and for a hard working labor it will be 3600 calorie okay and also we have discussed about the milk so talking about milk it is a complete liquid food which contain all the component and also we have discussed about the importance of mother milk in which we have seen that uh, the very first milk which comes out is called as colostrum it is yellowish slimy and viscous in nature it enhances the digestion in child and help in cleaning of intestine and it is also of great importance that is it also increases the immune system of the child that's why it is very much important so students this is all about today's lecture in our next lecture we will discuss about malnutrition okay
or basically if you uh, will say that what is malnutrition then the quantity and quality of food is very important in a balanced diet when less quantity of food is taken the individual gets less energy and this condition is called undernourishment or calorie deficiency under such circumstances the body tissue are oxidized for releasing the required amount of energy and malnutrition is simply where the nutritive quantity of food is not absorbed by our body so this is all about today's lecture